Hi everyone, I'm Liz. I'm an artist, illustrator, and teacher, and today I want to show you how to download and use the new free digital planner I created. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can find a link to get to this page in the video description. And once you get to this page, you'll see all of the sections of the planner. If you like this planner and you've considered making your own, I created a class showing how I made this whole planner. I show every step of the process and share a bunch of brushes and resources for creating the textures and tabs and all of these images. So if you really want to create your own, check out that class. But if not, you can definitely just use mine. You'll see on this page there's a cover section, a month view, 64 different stickers, and a blank page, a goal tracker with sections for three different goals that you can track for each month. There's a month view and a week view, and also blank writing paper. So once you're ready to download the planner, click and hold the link that says click here to download the planner, and then click open in a new tab. This is a large file, so it may take a minute or so to download depending on your Wi-Fi speed. Once it downloads, you should see this option open in GoodNotes. If you don't, click More and then find GoodNotes on that list. So I'll click Open in GoodNotes. And then you'll see, if you already have a planner open, you'll see the options to import this into that planner. We don't want to do that. We want to create a new document and then you have to choose where you want to put it. You may not have sections, so in that case you could just put it in, in uncategorized. I'm going to put it in my section called Planners. So once you do that, you'll see the planner pop up in your gallery and you can click it one time. So all you need to do to use them is copy them and paste them on another page and I'll show you how I do that in just a second. I'll click the home button to get back to the home page and you can get to the tracker here and the tracker has 12 months of the year so if you click on February for example you'll see February here with enough numbers for the whole month. Next we have the blank section where you can write lists or make charts and lined paper. And then the last button here takes you to my site where I list free stickers. So I put out new stickers all the time, so you can just click that to check and see if there are any that you don't have yet. So all of these buttons here are also linked up at the top. So you'll see the calendar, the stickers, the tracker, blank, writing, and to get to my homepage to see my stickers. So you can easily get to those here, but if you forget what those are, you can always come back to the home page. And I left a little section here in case you want to write what this is. Maybe this is your 2019 goal planning book, or maybe this is just your planner and you want to write your name there, or you could just put a sticker or leave it blank. Next you'll see we have every month of the year and you can just click those tabs to change to the next month. And then if you want to get to the week view, you just swipe after that month. So this would be the first week of April, the second week, the third week, the fourth week, and if there's a fifth week in that month, there's a space for that as well. So you can use the stickers to mark something on your calendar. So I'll click the sticker tab here and I'm just going to grab the telephone symbol here to symbolize I want to call someone on a certain day. So I'll click the lasso tool that's going to let me select this sticker. I'm just going to circle in the very center of that sticker. If you circle wide in GoodNotes, it'll, it'll select everything around it. So I just make a little circle in the center, click one time, and click Copy. So these are all pre-cropped, so you don't need to do anything else, but paste it wherever you want it to go. So I'll click my No Pencil symbol, click January, and let's go to a random day in January and I click paste and there's my sticker. So we just click and hold and paste and you can do that multiple times. If you had four calls that month you could put them all in at once and then you can click and hold to delete. 
You can also click and hold and then click edit if you want to resize. And I made these at a really large size, so you can make them really big and they won't get blurry. And then you can just put them in their place and maybe add a little bit of text. I'm going to click the pen symbol at the top. I'll get gray as my color, and I like to use about a seven size pen with this planner, but you may want to go a little thicker or thinner. So you can easily mark meetings and things like that using the stickers. And because this is an undated planner, at the beginning of the month, I just go through and write in all the days. I left this undated because I want it to be flexible for multiple years. So it's pretty easy when you start the month to just go through for a few seconds and write in all the numbers. Next, I want to use the goal tracker. So I'll click the no pencil symbol again. And I want to go grab a sticker to use with my goal tracker. So I have some exercise goals this year. I'm going to grab the lasso tool and then circle a sticker, click and hold, click copy, no pencil symbol up here, go to my tracker, and then I'm going to put this on January. So I'll click January, click and hold, paste, and I'll put this at the top of this goal. I'm going to repeat the same process with two more stickers for my tracker page. So now I have three goals set for this month, exercise, work, or this could be screen time, and food related goals or cooking. So I'm just going to make a few notes here about my progress for these goals. And I'm going to make my pen a little smaller for this page just so they'll fit on the lines really well. So you can see here, I've just made a few notes about my progress for the goals for that month, what I did that day towards that goal, just some short notes here. And that's just a really nice way to keep track of your goals and you can customize it each month. Your goals may change throughout the year. So maybe in February, I'll have three totally different goals. Another sticker that's really helpful is the to-do list here. So let's say you want to make a to-do list. You can copy to do and the list, click and hold, click copy, and then let's go to the blank page and paste. And then I'm going to click and hold, click resize, and then make this a little bit bigger so it'll fit on this whole page. So you could put this on the calendar or you could just put this on a blank page. And let's say you want to bookmark this page because this is something important that you want to remember. You can click the plus symbol, click bookmark, and I'll say to-do list for January 5th. So now whenever you click the four square button up here, you'll see all of your bookmarks and you can just click on that to get to that page. You can also play around with these stickers. For example, I'm going to click the lasso and circle this top sticker, click resize to move it, and you can move it different areas. So I might want to put it beside here, or you could put it below and then just resize it a little to make it fit. You could also put the to-do list on top. Just circle that, copy, paste it over here, and put that one down first. Then if you put this other list down second, make sure you get all the text as well. Click and hold and then click paste and then you can stick this under the to-do list. So you can really play around with these and make them your own. 
So that's really all you need to know to get started with this planner. Remember, I'll be coming out with more stickers in the future with a page that you can just insert right into your planner. So if you want to get those in your inbox, sign up for my mailing list or check back on my blog. And feel free to send me a message if you have any questions about this planner. Remember, I created a class on how I made this planner, so if you feel inspired to create your own planner, check out the class. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.